So the question has arisen about how to work uh, number two on section 6.4. Um, what we're being asked to do here is to, to find the variance of each of the nine samples, then summarize the sampling distribution of the variances in the format of a table representing the probability distribution of the distinct variance value. So we'll have to find the variance for uh, each of these uh, samples that we have here. We have uh, nine samples, and if we click on the uh, little window button here next to this, we can open this in StatCrunch. And when we open it in StatCrunch, uh, what we're going to have are, or is all the, the data here <clears throat> when it eventually opens. And what we see here, we have nine samples. Uh, each of these are our samples here. And I'm going to do sat, stat, summary stats in rows because our data, each of the samples is in a row. And I need to tell it where the data is. We've got X1 and X2 is the data. The first column is just the uh, sample number. Um, and we hit next. And we're going to need some uh, different things for these. I'm going to do uh, the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation. Um, I'm not sure which ones we'll need for this problem. I know we need the variance right off the bat. And what you see here, we have uh, th we have this list of the different variances for each of the samples. Um, so the first, uh, the, the different values we have are 0, 4.5, 40.5, and 18. Uh, we want to put those in order. So the first one, 0, 4.5, then 18, and 40.5. So when we go back here, 0, <coughs> 4.5, 18, and 40.5 and then the probability of each one well we have nine different samples if these are simple random samples then each sample has the same probability of being selected um, so we have three out of nine um, for the uh, zero we have one two three of those um, so we'll type that as one over three um, when we look at 4.5, we have one, two of those, so we have two out of nine. For 18, we have two, and then for uh, 40.5, we also have two, so we have two out of nine again. When we're asked to compare the population variance to the mean of the sample variances, we need to find the population variance. Um, so what I'm going to do for this is go back to StatCrunch, and, and I'm going to actually type in another column here. This is going to be our population. Our population were the values 1, 4, and 10. And I'm going to do stat summary statistics on the column now. And so we want to do this on that new column that I've put in there. and when I look at it, the variance is 21. And <clears throat> so we have then a uh, variance of 21 for the uh, for the uh, population uh, variance. And then the mean of the sample variances, if we average up this column here, take the mean of that column, we'll see it's also 21. And so the population variance is equal to the mean of the sample variances. And then we're asked, do the sample variances target the value of the population variance? Um, and in general, do sample variances make good estimators of population variance? Why or why not? Um, well, because the sample variances the mean of those is the same as the mean as the variance of the population. They do target uh, the population variance, which means they make good estimators of the population variances. If we did the same thing for standard deviations, we would find out that it does not work for standard deviations. The only statistics that we'll have that target the population variance is or the target the population parameter are the mean proportion and the variance. Uh, the standard deviation, the median, and the range uh, do not target the uh, population parameters.